Hello friends, welcome to MS Optive Webcast and in this video demonstration, we are going to see how to install Hyper-V Rule on Windows Server 2012 R2. Before you can install the Hyper-V Rule on a server running Windows Server 2012 R2, first of all, your system must meet the minimum system requirement to install the Hyper-V Rule. So before you start the installation process, make sure your system meets the minimum system requirement to install Hyper-V Rule on Windows Server 2012 R2. So let's start the installation. On the Windows Server uh, 2012 R2 computer, I just open the server manager and on the dashboard, just click on add roles and features to start the installation of Hyper-V Rule. On before you begin page, uh, click on next. On uh, select installation type, select role base or feature base installation and then click on next. On select destination server, uh, select your local server. If you are planning to install the Hyper-V Rule on remote computer, that time you have to select the remote computer from your server pool. In my case, I'm going with local computer. Click on next. On select server roles, uh, select Hyper-V. And it will ask you. So this will add certain features that are required for Hyper-V. Like uh, Hyper-V management tools and uh, Hyper-V PowerShell modules and Hyper-V UI management tools. Click on add features to add that. And then click on next. On uh, feature phase, we do not need any additional features. Just click on next to continue. This is the brief overview information about Hyper-V. So before you install this role, you should identify which network connection on this server you want to use for setting up the virtual switches. So once you install Hyper-V, you can use Hyper-V Manager to create and configure your virtual machine. So click on next. And here's about the creating the uh, virtual switches. So on the create virtual switches console, all the available network adapters are listed and can be selected for virtual switches. Uh, one virtual switch uh, will be created for each network adapter which you selected on this console. So these virtual switches uh, provide the connectivity between virtual machine and the physical network. You can also proceed without selecting any uh, network adapter. And if we will not select any network adapter here, then we can create virtual switch later by using the uh, Hyper-V Manager console or we can also use the Hyper-V PowerShell CMD lates. For this demonstration, I'm not going to select any options and just uh, leave it to this default. So click on next. On a virtual machine migration console, we can check allow this uh, server to send and receive live migration of virtual machine for enabling live migration of virtual machine or remain uh, uncheck these options and click on next to continue. So for this demonstration, I'm not going to select any options and just uh, leave it to this default and then click on next. On default store console, default the location of a virtual hard disk file and the default location of virtual machine configuration files are specified. See, I would uh, suggest to change the location to either uh, any of your uh, drive, but uh, not the default C program data, Microsoft, Windows and hyper location. So it's more better to store all these information on a separate drive or maybe it's possible so you can store on a separate hard disk drive. So I'm not going to change anything uh, right now and just for demonstration uh, I'm going with a default and then click on next. And on uh, confirm installation selection console verify all the selected options and if you want to change your uh, selected options click on previous tab and change that options. Otherwise, if you're happy with these options, then you can click on install to start the installation. And one more thing, uh, once you install the Hyper-V, Hyper-V will restart your system for at least two times. So if a restart is required, the server will uh, restart automatically without additional notification. Do you want to allow automatic restart? I say yes. And click on install to start the installation. So once your server is charged, uh, log in with an uh, administrator credential. So as you are seeing, the Hyper-V role installation is succeeded on this server. So click on close. So if you click on a start and uh, here you can uh, see the new Hyper-V Manager is there. You can also open this uh, Hyper-V Manager clicking on tools and then click on Hyper-V 
manager. So this is a console from where we can manage our all uh, virtual machines and we can create a virtual machine, we can create a uh, virtual hard drives and so on. So this is the way how we can install the Hypo-V on Windows Server 2012 R2. In a future videos, we'll see how to create a virtual machine in uh, Hypo-V on Windows Server 2012 R2. So that's it for these demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.